it's a matter of which comes first, the horse or the cart. We felt that you needed to re-register first, then with that information, you then redistrict. How can you redistrict and then re-register when you don't know what you have? No, 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 that, that is totally absurd. Come on, Mr. Chairman, we're in full time, but not fully listen. Really, really, you had to re-register first and then take that information and now create the, the boundaries of what would be nearly as equal constituencies across the country. From the last time that we did a redistricting, and it wasn't really a complete redistricting, technology has improved that we have been informed that a redistricting in this age could take nothing more than a week. In fact, one of the experts we spoke to, it's all technology now. He said, man, it could, you'd be surprised how we could actually do it in hours once all the information is in there. And really, we have almost all the information just coming out of a re-registration, except for the corrupting of the list in the transfer months that took place, where we end up with 40 people living in a restaurant. Most of the information is still pretty intact. You said it can be done within a week, and then you said within hours. In theory, it's possible. But these things are also, like the election, very expensive. You have to mobilize people, you have to have strategies in place, you have to... So the logistics of it may, may not be so practical. Um, what's your response to that? I no longer want to hear excuses for us following our constitution. If we can spend millions of dollars on roads going nowhere, man, we could spend two, three million dollars on getting this right. We say we are a democracy, then let's practice what democracy stands for. And the first pillar of democracy is fair representation. If you don't have that pillar in place, everything falls apart. And that's why we're seeing the decadence and the rule of law just, just not even respected by those who make the law, those who swore an oath of office that they would uphold the law and the constitution are actually saying they will fight us all the way to the appeal court to obey the constitution. What ridiculous nonsense is that? No man, no. Listen, we could find two, three million dollars. It, it, approximately, it's ten dollars per vote, per per voter. That gives you about two hundred, uh, about two million dollars, uh, two hundred thousand times ten dollars. Come on, we could find that and we could get this. I would probably be surprised if every Belizean wouldn't prefer to give their ten dollars to the to the government and say, let's get it right.